Yo, what's up guys? My name is Mr. Freeze2244 and in this video I'm going to show you how to complete the Ice Cold Cowboy Assassination Challenge in Hokkaido. It's a brand new challenge that got added today in Hitman 3, so you will need to complete this through Hitman 3 to actually complete this challenge and you'll get the Polar Survival Suit as a reward. So you need to eliminate Yuki Yamazaki while disguised as Amos Dexter, complete the Scientists and Versus, which is the mission itself, and exit via the Snow Scooter. So I'm going to show you two different methods, one with no equipment and one with equipment. So if you are a new player, I advise you to put it on casual difficulty and you will start obviously with no equipment anyway and you're going to start in the 47 suite. Skip at the opening panning shot of the start of the cutscene and then exit 47's room. I've got a pair of scissors, I've got to retrieve that from 47's bathroom. You don't need these, so don't worry about it. So we need to go and get Amos Dex's disguise and we're going to wait outside because we don't have a keycard to get in his room. So currently he was, on, he was having a phone call conversation and he will head out this front door. So what we're going to do is when he opens the door we're going to bump through him. Or you'll bump into him twice as you run through him and you'll phase through him. And then you need to make him basically let him see you because it's a trespassing zone. And you need to break the line of sight around about 80% of the uh, suspicious meter right here. Once you've broken that meter he will come into the room to investigate what he, what he saw. And then you're going to go and subdue him from around the corner like that. You will still retain your silent assassin because he didn't fully detect you. That's how that works. We're going to drag his body deeper into the room and then go ahead and put his disguise on and grab the cowboy bust off the table. Once we've got that done, we now have the appropriate disguise to take to finish the mission. So what we're going to do first is take out Eric's sodas. So we need to get down into the lab area because we're going to actually sabotage the heart. So he's having a heart transplant right now in the main mission. So we're going to throw that to that heart that's ready for Eric Sodas. I'm going to throw that in the bin and that will effectively kill Eric Sodas. So we're going to slide down this pipe right here. I'm going to pass through the room as we slow down the bottom of the pipe. So pass through this room right here. Don't worry about picking up this, uh, this thing right here. We don't need this. But as I was recording, I went and picked it up. It's kind of like, um, you know, it's a force of habit. Every time I do this, I pass through here. I always tend to pick up that remote anyway. But we don't need it. We're going to pass through this room now. Just make sure these guys are have their backs to you as you're passing through the room. You don't have to be as ballsy as I'm doing right here. But once we effectively get through this area, we are going to go into the security room while staying crouched. There's going to be a guard in there. So we're going to pull out our cowboy bus that we picked up a little bit earlier and smack it on the back of his head, knocking him out. Once we've done that, we're going to put his body in the locker and pick up his weapon. So it's, a, it's an inaccurate pistol, but we are going to need to aim right at the heart, just over there in the distance. We need to line up the shot, and go ahead and take your shot. And you will shoot the heart, and it will effectively take out Eric Soda, so that's one of them completed. Everyone's going to hear that gunshot though, so just be careful that no guards are rushing in at this point. I'm going to wait for these guards to go past before I make my way down into where the sauna is, because we need to take out Yuki Yamazaki now. So I'm just going to come up the stairs and go down this corridor. All the way down to the bottom. So Yuki is currently making her way to the sauna area. We need to vacate the area, so all we need to do is turn on the temperature. We're going to hear a really annoying beep for quite a while, so... I am going to skip this part of the video because it's going to be quite annoying to listen to that throughout the entire way. So I'll skip to the point where Yuki is actually in the room. So you don't have to wait too long because she's here already after about 30 seconds or so. So once she's here and you can see it on the mini map, just go and exit this little crate right here to, uh, so we can actually trap her in that sauna room because that's what's going to happen. She's going to get rid of her bodyguard, which is what she's done. And she's going to make her way into the sauna. And what you want to do is go ahead and block this door. Once you've done that, you'll have to take her out, and that's going to be an accident kill. So all we need to do now is locate the exit, which is going to be the snow scooter, and that's what is a requirement to complete in the challenge. So if you want to get to the snow scooter, you can just head down here around the side. Just be careful of any patrolling uh, guards that may be around. But once we've exited here, you'll get a silent assassin rating, and you'll unlock the challenge. And with that, you will get the reward along with it. But, there is an easier and faster way of doing this challenge if you have equipment. So if you're already at Mastery Level 20 for Hokkaido, and you can start in any position, you can go ahead and bring some extra equipment to make this a lot more easier and a lot more faster. So if this is for you, go ahead and check out this little method here. So we're going to use the Silver Baller. 
We're going to bring on the Shaman Powder, Electronic Key Hacker, and we're going to start in Tobias Reaper's room. And this is the outfit that I actually unlocked previously, so I thought I'd give it a little bit of a showcase. So what I did there, as soon as we start the mission, we shot the floor next to Yamazaki down there. That's going to trigger a target lockdown. So while this target lockdown is happening, we're going to crouch as we approach this room, use the Key Hacker on this door, and there's now going to be a countdown at the top of the screen. We're going to get over to Dexter before that clock finishes, and we're going to go and knock him out. Once we've knocked him out, go ahead and put his disguise on and shoot the gondola. Depending on how far it is, it's a little bit of a tricky shot. But as soon as it starts moving a little bit fast, you know that you've got it done. And that will be an accident kill for you, for Yuki Yamazaki. Once you've done that, we're now going to select the shaman powder. If you haven't got the shaman powder, you can use a golf ball, an explosive golf ball if you have it. Alternatively, you can get a red rubber duck or any of the explosive rubber ducks apart from the proximities and put it on the shelf next to the window that which you're about to approach. And then you can go ahead and explode it and it will do the same effect as what I'm about to do here. So we just chuck it at the window. That's going to take out Eric Soda's. And there we go. What we've got to do now is just drop down here, use the scrambler on this door, jump out of the window, Slide down the pipe. There's going to be a couple of guards down here. That's the only problem with this bit right here. It's around this section. So if you are patient, you can just wait it out. Alternatively, I would advise you to just uh, go ahead and shoot the wall, which is what I'm about to do here. I wanted it a little bit, a little bit patient, but um, sometimes patient isn't a virtue. So I'm going to shoot that wall there to get them to turn around, and then we're going to crouch run all the way to the scooter, and then we can exit. And there we go. That is a, a faster way of doing it than Method 1. But Method 1 is going to be appealing to the majority of people that don't have Mastery Level 20 for Hokkaido. Especially if you're a new player as well and you are experiencing Hokkaido for the first time and you wanted a taster of that suit, Method 1 is going to be the choice for you. But overall, that is how you get the, uh, the suit. You can use it across any of the maps in the game. So thank you very much for watching. Feel free to drop a like on this video. Let me know your thoughts on this challenge in the comments. Subscribe if you are new to the channel and hit the bell notification to be notified of all future videos and live streams. Consider supporting me on Patreon or even becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button below or clicking the link in the description. And a big shout out to all my Psycho Assassin members including Paul Lilly, Argel, Bedry, Mark Davis, Constantine Mueller, Isaiah Blake and Thomas. Thank you very much for becoming top tier Psycho Assassin members. I really do appreciate it and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Cheers.